As the name of the series implies, strange makeup is part of what the actors on set of Stranger Things had to deal with. Let's find out how painful this is for them. Vecna's bodywork. The new villain of Stranger Things has sent even more chills to the actors on set and the fans alike, and it's a wonder how the actor who portrayed Vecna, Jamie Campbell Bower, sat through the painful prosthetic process to bring you his most revered look on the show. The fans were shocked when Jamie revealed that he stays still for about eight and a half hours to get on the Vecna's look, and even an additional one hour or so to take it off after he's done with the day's shootings. Before now, many fans would have thought that Vecna was a product of CGI till it was revealed by the prosthetic designer Barry Gower that it was all special makeup. When Barry had to explain how Vecna's bodywork came into being after being tasked with creating the monster, he said, Rather than just creating a rubber monster suit, something he'd just slip on, we decided that we wanted to make it all his prosthetic appliances. The prosthetic designer mentioned how a total of 2,425 appliances were added to Jamie's body just so Vecna could be born. That's a lot of weight for someone to carry around when you think about it. Barry said, It would all be completely added to his skin, glued with medical adhesive, so everything was very slim fitting and form fitting. He went further to talk on how they took the time to apply the glue and connect all the dots when he said, We would glue everything together on the actor's skin and then join all the dots together with airbrushes and inks and make it all seamless. It's a huge undertaking. Then Jamie, who sat through many hours to be able to get into Vecna's horrifying look, later had something like jelly added to his prosthetics and that's why you see Vecna looking all wet and slimy when you watch the show. Barry described the finishing touches as the painful and enduring prosthetics when he said Vecna had to be covered in glossy slime to make him really, really glossy and wet looking. Barry praised the dedication of the whole team in creating Vecna's bodywork and also praised Jamie for his outstanding patience. He said it was a well-orchestrated marathon which would not have been possible without a stellar team and the utmost patience and unfaltering stamina of Jamie. Huge respect to you, sir. Victor Creel's eyes. At this point, the fans can all agree that with every scene of Stranger Things comes an everyday strange look. Another horrifying look the actors and makeup team on the set of Stranger Things have to deal with is the closed patches of Victor Creel's eyes. Victor, who moved to Hawkins in the 50s and had a lovely family, soon began to experience some dark forces apparently caused by his own son and without his knowledge. He became implicated in what happened to his family and decided to take his own life by removing his eyes. He attempted, however, failed and was left with scarred eyes. The Duffer brothers mentioned that most of the scenes in Stranger Things were inspired by their childhood memories of what happened in Nightmare on Elm Street, and they had Robert England from the series play the cursed character Victor Creel. The prosthetic designer Barry cherished every moment with the actor Robert while applying his makeup on the set of Stranger Things. He said, It was just a joy to work with him because his application was about two hours in the makeup chair and he just fed us with so many anecdotes and brilliant stories from his career. Barry also spoke on how fairly easy it was to bring about Victor's creepy eyes in the two hours of makeup when he said, He's a seasoned pro. I can't think of another actor that's probably had more prosthetics glued on him. So he knew all our materials, who knew exactly what we were doing, he knew when to close his eyes and when to turn his head. Chrissy's dad's prosthetics. Stranger Things 4 started with heart-pounding episodes episodes of the gruesome things Vecna would do to his victims. In the first episode of the season, the cheerleader of Hawkins High School, Chrissy, had some scary visions right before Vecna took her away. One such scene involved Chrissy's dad being tied to a chair with his mouth glued with prosthetics and his eyes looked disjointed. The role, which was played by Christopher Strand, had the painful prosthetics applied to him by Amy Forsyth, the head makeup artist on the set. Amy said the setup of the scary scene was put together by Bill Corso, the Academy Award-winning makeup artist. In her words, she said, Corso sent us a very, very specific layout of how all of the strings needed to be attached to the chair. It was wild. Amy further explained the level of discomfort Christopher had to endure when she said, He couldn't see. He couldn't speak. All he could do was hear. When we were breaking for lunch, I was like, You better let him know that he's done for the day before you call lunch, because he might be just sitting there thinking you're abandoning him. Amy talked about how they tried to make the process less painful by making sure the actors communicate, whereas in the case of Christopher, who couldn't speak,
week. All he had to do was nod to a yes or no question. She said, You ask them to be very communicative with you on their experiences so you can help make adjustments if need be. No one knows their comfort level like they do. Billy's wounds. The character Billy Hargrove, who was betrayed by Dacre Montgomery, was one of the early characters on the set of Stranger Things. Billy, who first appeared in Hawkins at the beginning of season two, became the Mind Flayer's victim in season three, replacing Will Wires, who was initially captured by the monster. And though the process of Billy being overpowered by the Mind Flayer, the fans could see his body go from tanned to pale. In the show, Billy's pale look is accompanied by flayed wounds. Amy said they had to do his wounds makeup earlier than anticipated, as she didn't get to see the scene that led to the wounds, so she had a tough time figuring out how the wounds should look and where they should be placed. She said Billy's back wound prosthetics were a last-minute order from Robert Kurtzman. Amy explained that they first had to make Billy's wound appear red before changing it mid-production to black from the Lone Wolf effects prosthetics obtained by Bill Johnson. She recounted how many prosthetics Billy had in total when she said, We were really figuring it out as we went because we wanted to make it make sense. Dacre ended up wearing 33 prosthetics at a time. Between him and his photo and stunt doubles, we had 99 prosthetics on them in total. The Milky Eyes Vecna's signatures are iconic, and one of them is the turning of milky eyes his victims experience while in a trance. The makeup artist on set were able to achieve this look with contact lenses. Amy had to first test out the lens on herself before using it on any of the actors, and she explained that the experience is wild that you're blanked out in a larger white space by yourself. While describing her experience, she said, It's like you're in a bright white room all by yourself, but you can hear the people around you. It's bonkers. Amy said that she had an approach that helped to make the experience a fun one for the actors as well. She said, I took lots of videos of people putting their contacts in for the first time to get the reactions and try to make it a little fun experience for them. She said that her team's way of creating playful moments during the makeup process helps in making prosthetics less painful for the actors. Beckner's voice distortion. When it comes to filling up a monster's role, it's what actor Jamie does well to perfection. Remember the creepy and unnerving voice of Vecner in the Upside Down? Well, it's all Jamie talking. There were no computer effects or any distortion to his voice. Jamie, who was recently in an interview with Vulture, spoke about how long it took him to get that voice and how he felt his real self slipping away to accommodate Vecner. He said, The voice was tricky. It took me a few months to get it right. I needed to find the truth truth of this person, and that didn't come from putting on an act. It has to come from somewhere deeper, somewhere real. The actor explained how he had to bring himself into the mental space that was necessary to bring about the monstrous screeching voice when he said, I remember walking onto that set and going, OK, not only do I need to embody the emotional side of who this person is, but I also need to physically have enough energy to fill this space and make it my own. Eleven's leg wounds. Eleven's battle with the mind flare in season three left some unflattering wounds on her legs, which the makeup artist explained how she had to study animal-initiated wounds and make a practice on a mannequin leg. She said, I printed out all these wounds and I had somebody on my team go out and buy some mannequin legs. By the time she showed the result to the Duffer brothers, they had been surprised at how sickening their thoughts were and were instantly thrilled before giving the go-ahead to Amy to replicate the prosthetics on Eleven's legs. Now that you know how the actors of Stranger Things endured painful prosthetics to bring on a thrilling show, do you think it's worth it? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching.